for joining us. Our first guest is an Oscar-winning actor whose new film, Multiple Sarcasms, opens today. Please welcome Mira Sorvino. Thank you. So do you. Happy Mother's Day. You too. Mira, since the last time I saw you, we were at a dinner. You have th three, three children? Three children, yes. Well, how does that... Well, I know how it happens, but... <laughs> Good. I'm glad I didn't have to explain that on There her. they are. Yeah, there you with your beautiful yeah. husband as well. How old is the little baby now, the youngest? Uh, he's 10 months now, so he was a little smaller in that picture, but very beautiful, adorable. His name is Holden, and he's just, he's just full of happiness. Like, he's just always just beaming like he gets so excited about everything and he just looks at you like just just so excited about every just anything just standing up and he looks at you he's like look at this yeah yeah he just makes everything happy do you celebrate mother's day i mean is that something you, the kids will do or your husband will plan something or yeah the kids will do something they're they're uh, working on secret things with their teachers at school oh that's the best yeah, yeah to make those those homemade projects are uh, do you remember, have any memories like that from your childhood of stuff you made your mom? Or? I mean, the only thing I really remember is they did these poems. You know, we had these poems where you spelled mother going down, and then each line across started with an M and O and T, you know. And, and uh, they still have those framed. Both my mom and my dad both have those. Oh, that's yeah. great. I mean, that's, that's your history. I mean, that's what gives you that feeling and that strong sense of self when somebody honors those little things when you're a kid. That's such a huge part of your development because I, I have... Well, I was kind of lost in the shuffle, actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> I'm answering a lot of questions for myself just during this interview. <laughs> What's the best part of motherhood so far, would you say? Um, I think the best part is just I, you love them so much that it, it makes, like, I've literally had moments where I'm, like, hugging them and laughing with them where I feel like it's, this is what paradise is. This is, like, the idea of heaven, like... I'm in heaven now. I couldn't be happier. Like, I might, you know, my eyes are tearing up, and we're just laughing, and I couldn't be any happier. I'm like, okay, this is it. I, I found it. You know, so that's what the best part is, is just how much I love them and how great they are. And just oh. You know, you're so fortunate. Yeah. And, and you know, you, you had that in your own childhood. I mean, we don't know your mom so much, but we know your dad, Paul Servino, the actor. Right. And I remember seeing him get so choked up. That's when we saw it publicly at the Academy Awards. Yeah, yeah. No, he was uh, always, always a great father. And my mother was a stay-at-home mom, so mm -hmm. she was always there for us, and she was the most creative mother. She would do, like, you know, we'd have birthday parties where she would do treasure hunts and write notes all over the backyard, and then she would home-make pinatas. Like, she would build her own pinatas, and then she also taught drama because she used to be an actress before she had me, and then she gave it up, which has given me a lot of guilt over the years. No, but do you know what? I understand that, too. My mother was in this business as well before she had her first child, and then she had the first baby, and she says she gave birth to her audience, you know? <laughs> yeah, she always said she never regretted it, and I didn't understand that till I had my own. Then I was like, oh, well, maybe I should just give it all up and just be with them because it goes so fast, you know? It's, like, crazy. But she used to do games where she would bring out, like, at a birthday party, she'd bring out a big sack like a grab bag and there would be props in it there would be like a feather duster and a, an exotic uh hair comb from spain and, and something else and you pull out three props two kids and you'd make a skit and that, that was is a party an, game that is an <laughs> excellent party game and we loved it that's a great tip yeah because you do you're you forget that the kids imagination you could draw it out with something so simple instead of feeling that overwhelming need i mean do you go through that now with your kids you have these birthday parties they have for kids it's like the giant jimboree and the 17 actors show up playing complete roles for the kids and it's like what, what the heck's going on you know my mother put a candle in a bagel and was like happy birthday let's go to school <laughs> I, I, I made a birthday cake last year for my daughter's birthday party at school, and I brought it in, and some of the other kids wouldn't eat it because it looked like too sort of unstorebought. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh they, like they were like, no, I want, no, no. Because like, it was sort of, it was pink, you know, because she loves pink, but it was kind of melty looking. You know, the frosty didn't quite stand up. It wasn't, it wasn't you know. perfectly symmetrical. No, yeah. it was a little lumpy. It Who tasted wants? really good, but no, the, the two of the other kids specifically like were like, no, I want the kind that comes in the box from the store. I don't yeah, like that kind. I prefer machine-made. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Sorvino. Or whatever your... Bacchus. Do you, do you keep your Bacchus. name? Yeah, oh, yeah okay. I'm, I'm Mira Sorvino, but I also go by Mrs. Bacchus, Mira Bacchus, whatever. Well, you look fabulous. I want to talk more. We'll be right back. More with Mira. Thank you.